How to add streaming services to your smart TV. I'm Huey Poplock. This is part one. Part two will be next week, websites to legally watch free movies online. So let's add a streaming service to a Fire TV and a Roku TV today. This is my Toshiba Fire TV that's in my living room. I stream all of the TV. I have no cable. And uh, when I turn it on, this is what I get. At the top, you'll see that I have several choices on changing things and setup. And then I have some of the top choices that I have. And then below are all of the choices. But when I click on this, this will show all of my apps and my channels. As I go down the list, you'll see the several rows. In other words, I have lots of installed applications or channels or services. And these are the ones that I have. Now, it shows that I can have installed on this TV or I can show not installed. In other words, that I haven't picked. But let's go ahead and choose one that I don't have from the list of movie channels. And I'm choosing Plex. And there it is. Now, when I click it, I have a cho choice of getting it. Once it gets it, it proceeds and then puts it in the queue and then it downloads it. And installs it. And then you can open it. And once I open it, there is Plex TV with different choices of things that are available through Plex. Plex is a service that you can have, you can actually show your own movies uh, as well. You can save items to your watch list. You can watch content on one, uh, one app, and then you can also uh, set favorites. So you don't have to set up an account, but if you do, it will remember what your settings are each time. There are many channels that you can watch that are live. So you can see the times and what the programs are. And you can choose whichever one you want to watch. You just click it and you'll be watching that particular program. As you see, there are a lot of different choices in Plex, as there are in all of them. Now we're looking at the local. So uh, it has many local channels, many local news channels uh, as well. And you can watch any of those. If you sign in and set your area, you can eliminate those who are, you can eliminate those that are not in your area. Here's choices of movies and TV programs. And so we have installed Plex now on our Fire TV. Now, when we click on a particular movie, it will show the cast and some information about it. You can play it. You can add it to the watch list. You can watch a trailer and you can mark it as played. And as you see, there are several things that you can choose. Sign in, search, home, watch list, live TV, movies and shows, discover. You can even listen to some music. And you can check to see what your media, what you've marked as your favorites.
Now, I spend approximately $80 a month for direct TV stream. And that's the main service that I use. I can watch live TV and it allows me to pick up the local stations in this area besides the stations uh, of the major channels as if I was getting cable TV. As you can see, I have a guide to go by. I can click on any one of those and watch it, watch it live. Or I can click something in the future and tell it I want to record it and I do get a DVR or digital video recorder. We're now looking at Freevee, which is the former IMDB. Amazon purchased it, changed the name, but it has a lot of old TV shows and movies available for free. It is another service that I use to watch free TV. Now we do have a choice of how the list of services or apps are listed. We can click and we can move it to the front, which moves it all the way to the top, or we can just plain move it, click it, and then as we click, we can place it wherever we want. At this, what we're doing is we're moving it towards the top. We're going to put it right there. Let's switch now to the bedroom TV, which is a TCL Roku TV, and see how to install a service or an app on it. This is the list of apps that are already on this TV. As you can see, I have a lot of them. And this time we're also going to add Plex to the Roku TV as we did to the Fire TV. We're going to search the channels. Very similar to the other, but as we type in the letters, you'll see the availability of what we're looking for. And as soon as we type in the first two letters, it's already over on the right-hand side. We'll type the whole thing in, and it goes to Plex Free Movies. We go ahead and click it. It says we have a choice of adding the channel or viewing screenshots. Let's look at the screenshots first. And it does show us a few screens of, of what it's going to look like. Very similar to uh, the Fire TV version. And you can see a lot of movies, you might recognize the names. Okay, so now we want to add the channel. So it's adding it. It's been added now, and we're ready to either go to the channel, we can remove it, we can do whatever we want. This time we're clicking it to, to go to the channel. It's loading the app. And it's the same as it was on the Fire TV. You see Plex. And then you see the choices that you have. You can sign up for free or you can go without signing up. And we'll do that first. We can do several things. We can search. We can look at what's available. We can look at uh, the home, the watch list to discover we can watch TV and movies and shows and music. Same as we looked at Plex on the Fire TV, it's almost the same on the Roku TV, as you can see. We can go to movies and shows. We can look at categories. You have to remember that when you're streaming, you're waiting for things to download. So there is hesitation. It's not like cable where you just click a button and you're there. It does have to load. Sometimes it takes a little while for things to load as well. And again, uh, we can look at the information about a particular movie. And it shows the stars. 
We can add it to the watch list, watch the trailer. Mark has watched, and then there's some other choices. We've now added Plex to our Roku TV. Now there's several things and settings that you can have with your Roku TV, and you can search, you can show all of the streaming channels that you have, you can add more or look for more to add just by clicking and going to those. Now, not all of those are free. Some of them are subscription-based that you pay for by the month. And uh, you can search whatever you want. You can add any of the pay services or any of the free services to your Roku as well as your Fire TV.